Today we're going to go through the next 10 sections of FreeCodeCamp's Learn Basic CSS by building a cafe menu. So step 61 is to make the EST2020 text italicized um, by creating an established class selector and giving it the font style property with the value italic. Um, so let's see, so we want to do dot established, that's the class here, and font dash style um, will equal italic like that. And we should see that change to italic when we add this class to our CSS. I'm just going to pre-select it. So step 61, yep, add the class uh, that we just created to uh, the HTML and we can see that now the established text is italicized. So that's all good. So step 63, the typography of heading elements, e.g. h1 and h2, etc., is set by default values of user's browser. Add two new type selectors for h1 and h2, so h1 and h2, and use the font size property, and then we'll set that to, um, put set the value, oh, sorry, 40 pixels, sorry, for h1, and 30 pixels for h2. So h2 here will be font dash size, and that's 30 pixels, like that. So as we can see, our top header or h1 is a little bit bigger, or 10 pixels bigger now than our h2. Okay, so step 64, add a footer element below the main element where you can add some additional information. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> so we want to... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> a footer element below the main section. So below main, let's do footer. Like so. Let's check the code. And there we go. Uh, step 65. Inside the footer, add a P element. So add a P. And we'll close the P off. And then inside that, we want a anchor tag. So A. And if you remember, anchor tags can be self-closing. And the href is this link here. So let's do that uh, to close off the string. So that is in our footer now. I don't know if we'll be able to see it yet. Um, let's check the code. Um, maybe it's not self-closing actually. Let's do that. Ah, sorry, apologies. Uh, obviously, the text of that should be this, like that. There we go. Step 66, add a second P element um, below the one with a link and give it a text, 123 free code camp drive. So, um, so we want another P element. Close off the P and we'll pop in that text there. Cool. So step 67, we can use a HR element to display a divider between sections of different content. Add a HR between the first header element and the main element. And HR elements are self-closing, so it'll just be like that. And as you can see now, we've got this horizontal line. So basically HR, um, I don't, I believe it means horizontal, but that's what I thought, think of it as, as a horizontal line going across the page there. Cool. Uh, 68, the default properties of a HR value will make it appear as a thin, gray, light gray line. You can change the height of the line by specifying a value um, of height property. So change the HR element to be height of, I guess, three pixels. So we'll give it three pixels, and we should see that change to be slightly taller now. Cool, so step 69, change the background color of the HR element to be brown, so background dash color, and that will be brown. There we go. And finally for this one, step 70, notice the gray color along the edges of the line. Those edges are known as borders, so each side of an element can have a different border color, or they can be all the same. Um, and basically we can just do border dash color, and let's give that also brown, like so. 
And there you go. Now you can see our borders are also brown. Perfect. Cool. So thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.